Hi friends, it's Pastor Harley from Broadway Church. In uh, John's Gospel, chapter 2, uh, the Jews have seen Jesus begin preaching and he has been in the temple. He's even cleansed the temple one of the first times he did that. And uh, so in verse 18, they so the Jews said to him, what sign do you show us for doing these things? Because he had been running the money changers out of the temple and, and saying this, my father's house shall not be a house of trade, is a house of prayer. And Jesus answered them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. And the Jews then said, It has taken 46 years to build this temple, and will you raise it up in three days? But he was speaking about the temple of his body. Now Jesus, in, in that, that short story, says, Well, where is true worship? It's not found in, in, a, in a grand building. It's not found in a building that is built by a tyrant king, even though he took 46 years doing it, uh, he and his sons. It is, it is not in the trappings, but it is in the person of Jesus. And also, where is God honored? Well, you know, we are used to calling ourselves a, the temple of the Holy Spirit. Uh, we take take the verses, very true verses from uh, St. Paul in Corinthians that said, you know, your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And one truth is not to do things with your body that would be like defiling a temple. You see what Jesus does if, if a temple is turned from true worship and true devotion to God. He, he acts to cleanse. He acts to challenge that. And, um, and also, if we remember, Paul didn't just say, your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, but you all together as a church are a temple of the Holy Spirit. In other words, in you, God dwells. In you, God is found and speaking. It's, it's not that we control God because he dwells with us, but he has taken over there and he is on the throne. But uh, the true place of worship for the Christian is not so much to worship in the temple of our body or even to say, here's my worship and it's all centered in the, the temple of the, the church congregation I'm part of, but it is in the body of Christ, which is, which is found in communion which suffered and was broken on the cross, which was the sign of how much God would do and dare to come to us in love so that we would know him. That was this body of Christ that was, that was born where, where God took on flesh at Bethlehem, where he walked the streets and laid his hands on the sick and healed them. Our worship, our love is, is centered upon Jesus. Let your life be centered on Jesus today. Amen.